Hello Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays Pokemon Insurgents version 116. Um, I know last time I mentioned that I was planning on kind of just going back to the base and mapping all this stuff out, but... To be honest, I don't really want to do that. So what I've done is I've just brought us back here to that barrier, the green barrier that we saw towards the end of last episode. I'm assuming the scientists can go through that. Apparently that is the case. So we're just going to explore and see what we can find. I have no idea what's going to go on. Let's see. Uh, we've been working on a way to utilize Kyogre's power for our own. Audrey just activated the machine. I hope that it ends up working. I put a lot of work into this system. I'm happy for you. This computer is useless. The dark Wii is useless. What about this super potion? Okay. I will take this super potion. And this ice heal. Okay. Come on, there we go. What do you have to say? The password for the week? I'm pretty sure it's Proteus. Next time, remember it when they tell you. Oh, I don't remember... It's a large piece of machinery. Cool. I don't remember where the password thing was. Oh, man. Shoot. I remember I remember needing a password somewhere. Let's see, found an ether. Okay, cool. Was it was it this way? I feel like it could have been. Um okay, so this is back at the entrance. So if I can find where that password needs to be input, I would assume that's where I can then progress the story. Um, this isn't helpful. Man, okay. Let's remember where that is, though, because my guess is that I'm gonna have to surf across that. So let's remember where that is, and see if we can find where this stupid password is input. So back in here, maybe? Logging on, login successful, authentication required. Oh, okay. Proteus. No, not Poteus. Proteus. There we go. Correct password. Sewers, sewers drained. What is... What does... Like, why would I, as a scientist, need clearance for that? Or... What does that accomplish for me? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing that fills in that pool with Gross Gook. And then maybe I have to use Shaman's ability? Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Can't use that here. Oh. Let's... Sea Flare. There we go. Bam! Okay. What is that? A change of clothes are lying on the table. Oh. Why would she need to change clothes? I don't... You know what? Never mind. I'm, I'm not going to question it. Uh, I guess I can just be Audrey. That works. I wonder what happens if I talk to somebody as Audrey. Man, be careful. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> they think I'm her. Hello. May I make a suggestion? Or never mind. Please forget I said. Okay. Um. So now I guess I go. I can go through that purple barrier. Yeah, I'm guessing I can go through that purple barrier now. And then from there, I don't know. If, I don't know. Is it this one? No, that's the green barrier. Okay. So now if I go through this... Oh, the purple barrier is where the... Um... Computer was. That I input the password... Inputted the password into, rather. So if I can just go back down there... There we go. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Lovely day to be a cult leader. Okay. Oh, crap. I meant to save. Shoot. Did you know that 97% of the ocean is unexplored? It covers the majority of the planet, and we barely know anything about it. We know about more about the moon than the seas on Earth. What kind of awesome Pokemon could exist down there? Have you heard of the Hoenn Calamity? About 30 years ago, when Kyogre was first summoned by Team Aqua, the weather went wild. Tons of things were raised from the depths of the ocean. Most of it was unimportant. Bottles, shoes, maybe a few gems or pearls and a rare, never-before-seen Pokémon. A squid that looked similar to Tentacruel, but with vastly higher stats. An evolution, one that only would occur in high-water pressure. High water pressure. A Pokémon with stats that rivaled legendaries. And further research shows that there are hundreds of hundreds more. Of course, this was kept hush-hush. 
It would be awful if everyone knew what creatures the ocean held. Everyone would be trying to catch these monstrosities, and with good reason. Fortunately, it turns out these Pokémon aren't nearly as strong out of the ocean as they are in it. You know why we're after Kyogre? It's incredibly powerful, and with a blue orb, it becomes one of the strongest Pokémon in the world. But do you know where its true talent lies? Kyogre is often considered as the deity of the sea, a real-life Poseidon. And that's not an honorary title. Kyogre is the king in the most literal way. I'm not sure how, but it has the power to control and command other creatures of the sea. Sure, having Kyogre would be great, but having an entire army of deep-sea Pokémon, all with the strength of legendaries, we would be undefeatable. And now we have Lugia on the surface, creating a storm to cover the world. With the surface flooded, my Arby will be stronger than ever. Kyogre is slowly calling forth the first of my beasts from the ocean even deeper than where we are. One by one, beast by beast, the Abyssal Cult will grow stronger. I couldn't start until today, not until I had a power source strong enough to power both Kyogre and Lugia. But now I have a shard of the very same crystal that once powered the Augur. I lost everything in pursuit of this gold, my life and my child, and more. I'll take care of you now before the first creature rises. You won't stand a chance. Her child? Yeesh. Kinda hard to think of somebody getting with an ice queen like this, this lady. I uh, don't want to think about that, really. Okay, Eric is not helpful in this scenario. I really wish I had saved before this right now. <laughs> I mean, I was able to beat her pretty handily last time. But I'm still a little concerned. Please don't burn. Thank you. Leaf Blade. We seem to be about on level for where we should be for this encounter too, since all of her since she led with a level 55. I'm assuming that means her beefy one will be Ludicolo. Um I don't think we need to change. Nah, I think that's fine. Um Words. I forgot what I was going to say. Crap. <laughs> Right, um, we seem to be on, on par, or on level, for this encounter, because we're not fighting stupid, tough shit. Which I appreciate. Oh, this thing's using a life orb. How dangerous for you. There we go. Good job, Sammy. Alakazam. Why do you have an Alakazam? That is so strange. That's... It's not a water type. Is it Delta? It is not. Okay. I don't get it. I, like, at all. Okay. Um, well, I'm assuming we'll be tanking a Psychic hit here. Or maybe he'll go for a Calm Mind? I don't really know. Focus Blast. Are you kidding me? Everybody always lands those. That bothers me. Oh. Okay, here's hoping this one, this withdrew, okay. Kingdra. Interesting. I'm not quite sure I follow the logic. Uh, this thing probably has Swift Swim. Let's heal up. I'm curious to see what the plan is here. There we go. Draco Meteor. Okay. Well, that hits pretty hard, but yeah, that'll cut his attack vastly. So that means we should be able to hit with an Ice Beam pretty effectively. Come on, Liv. There we go. Ice Beam. Should? Oh, okay. Well, we survived one, so we'll survive the other. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure leading with a Draco Meteor against a tanky Umbreon was necessarily the brightest idea. And... Patty can clean up with priority. Come on. There we go. Quick attack. And there goes the Alakazam. Nice. So that's what, four of them? Yeah, that's four. So we got two more. Crawdont. I don't see reason to switch. Let's go for the T-Wave. Patty should be able to survive a hit from this, yeah? One hopes. Rawr, I'm an angry Crawdont. Aqua Jet, whatever. 
Okay, maybe a little less whatever. Dang it. Got cocky. Shouldn't have done that. Meh. Okay. Shouldn't have a flying move. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. The Giga Drain will do a fair amount, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That worked out pretty well for us. Okay. So, I don't... You shouldn't have Lugia. She has Kyogre on her. Okay. Sure, why not? It's not gonna Mega Evolve. Whoa. How do you have multiple Megas? How does... I don't... I was always under the impression that you can only have one Mega Evolution. I mean, I know this isn't technically a Mega. It's what, Primal Reversion or whatever bullshit from the Gen 3 remakes? But come on! What am I supposed to do against this? Well, I don't know how hard he's going to hit. Looks like we're going to two-hit if we survive. Ow. Yep, that's us KO'd. Shit. Okay, I don't think I have anybody else who's fast. No. Marty's probably got the best chance of surviving. Origin Pulse. What the heck does that even do? Oh, I was gonna be pissed. I was gonna be pissed if we li if we didn't live through that. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. Huh. I can't believe I lost you. It doesn't matter, though. I can see the water stirring already. My army will rise soon. And then, in death. What on earth was that? And then? Okay. I'm just gonna look over this way. How did you get in here? Your Alakazam fainted. The barriers are gone. Wait a second. Aren't you from Sonata Hills, the leader's father? I guess your treatment didn't go well. You couldn't be more wrong. I feel better than ever. I've been improved. Empowered. And I want the world to join me. I extend to you the same offer, Audrey. Forget this ocean army and join me. All I ask in return is that crystal. The only thing keeping Kyogre... Uh, there are way too many factions in play. I'm starting to get really lost. <laughs> so, Harmony's dad is now doing his own cult thing? I don't... Uh, I don't know how you got down here, but you better turn your weird tentacle-covered tail around and leave now. It wasn't me that wanted you to join. What are you on about? I want to help heal the world. You want to rule it. Our goals differ. You would not be of help to me. Having Pokerus is a most illuminating experience. Things are revealed. You remember things that were suppressed. What are you getting at? For example, the memory of a mother who abandoned her child. But being raised by someone else because his mother chose a Pokemon over him. Harmony? Okay. Even after remembering all that, Damien still wanted you healed. Oh. Oh. I was wondering when Damien's real parents were going to come into this. Or not real parents, but real mother was going to come into this. Damien, what the fuck did you do? You're all grown up now. I left you. This is all my fault. You can make it up to him. This is what he wants. Just give it the cr Give it the crystal? The crystal's a power source for Pokemon, and we're just as much Pokemon as human now. She's not giving it. Take it, Damien. No, that's the only... Whoa. Get back, don't move! Please. Okay. Is she dead now? Everyone thought you were going to snap, but you're going to help me heal the world. You'll be a hero, Damien. Everyone will look up to you, not down. Let's go, we have people to help. I don't... Okay, so let me get this straight to make sure I'm understanding this clearly. So we went in and fought Audrey, and that went well. We only lost Raichu, right? No, we also lost Superior. 
things went well. We were leveled for it. I have no complaints about that. And then... Old, Harmony's dad, old dude, shows up. And just apparently knew where this base was. When I was having issues even finding the right goddamn trench to dive into. <laughs> Somehow gets down there without scuba gear. Finds us, conveniently right after we fight him. And I guess has Audrey killed because he needs the crystal bit? From the crystal we blew up? And... Damien did something stupid? I don't... I'm so confused. I am so very confused. Okay. So Kyogre got her in the end, huh? That's horrifying, it's appropriate, but still. That's seriously incredible, Endeff. You actually beat a cult leader and disbanded her cult. You're the first person since the first auger to pull that off. I heard about your friend. If whatever's affecting Mauld, her dad, is affecting him too, then I promise we'll find a way to help him. I've been doing some research into the Pokerus virus. I'll tell Nora about it and we'll find- we'll find a- uh, we'll work on it, whatever. I know you're worried about him. The decisions he's making, they aren't his, it's the virus talking. Don't do anything rash, okay? I'll leave you here, I have a gym to run. And from what I hear, you have to- you have one to visit. Anastasia should be ready for you and Kepler. Thanks for telling me about this. Let me know if you see my father or your friend again. Who's Ninja Dude? He looks like a Power Ranger! <laughs> The mistress will be most pleased. The shards will return to us. Earth, it's almost time to come back to the mirror. Oh my god, I'm so very confused. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get everybody healed up. I'm going to make my way back to Kepler. And then I guess we'll go from there. Okay, and we're back in Kepler Town. Uh, I actually had to cut quite a bit there. Um... Needed to get some work done around the apartment and all that fun stuff. Anyways, so we're back in Kepler Town. I, I'll figure out the story on my own. I don't. I don't. There's just so much information bombarded at me all at once that I don't even know. That's, that's just. That's really just the end of the sentence. I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next time when we pick up, I'll be tackling the Kepler Gym Leader, who I guess uses steel and electric. I think that's the case. Um, yeah, we'll be fighting off against. Um, Anastasia, that was her name. And we'll go from there. So if you guys enjoyed yourselves, go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can pen me a comment down below. I appreciate those. And I will see you guys in the next chapter.